Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create signboard in PowerPoint. The simple signboard diagram you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this interesting? You can use this signboard to write a quote to draw the viewer's attention to the quote. You can use it as a section header to announce what's going to come in the next section or you can just use it as a very useful diagram template to draw the viewer's attention to the information put in this particular uh, signboard for any reason. And you can also give explanation to what is given here. This is a very useful template for many, many occasions. Let us see how to create this useful signboard diagram in PowerPoint from scratch. If you observe closely, there are a few elements in this diagram. One is this pole, second is this bar that holds this particular signboard. Let us see how to create those elements and put them together. The first step is to go to home and under in auto shapes menu, I am going to use one of the rectangles and the rectangle that I'm going to use is this one, which has two rounded corners. It is called as round same side corner rectangle. So click on that one and draw the shape. The reason why I chose this particular shape is you can move this yellow handle to the center to have a full curvature, which looks like a proper pole. Now reduce the width of this shape so that it looks like a pole. Now we are going to fill this with gradient. For, for this, let me go to right click format shape and under fill, I'm going to use gradient fill. Now let me do this from the beginning because we have, I've already done this and that's the reason why it has taken this particular gradient shape. Let me show you from scratch. First, we are going to use the type as linear and not radial. The next thing is we are going to have three stops and the middle one is going to be somewhere close to 50%. The two extremes are going to be the darker versions of a color. So in this case, I'm going, I'm using the uh, black color the, or the gray color. And this third one is also going to be the same color. And the center portion is going to be white. Now, as you can observe, the direction is still not perfectly in order. So I'm going to use linear right to get this in place. Now, as I do that, you can see that this particular shape looks like a pole. Now let us remove the shape outline and say no outline. The next thing is to copy this. For this, I am going to press Ctrl D after clicking the shape. Now let me rotate this. So arrange, rotate and rotate right 90 degrees and hold the shift tab and then reduce the size and this is going to serve as a bar you can reduce the thickness of the bar and you can also increase the length if you choose to the next thing is to put the wooden clock so i'm going to go to rectangles and draw a rectangular shape and uh, you are going to use a texture fill for this one the texture fill is here fill picture or texture fill and i'm going to use the texture under this one this is the texture this texture the set of textures has been around ever since powerpoint has been conceived by the people who created powerpoint so let me use this one oak and uh, shape outline is no outline you can have shape effects and preset is going to be this one called as preset 2 and there we are now we need to have a couple of strings that holds the block so lines and this one is the straight line hold the shift tab and connect the board to the bar now make a copy of this and the way I'm doing it is I'm holding the control tab as I move the particular line. Now, once I have this, these two are chosen. 
black color and increase the thickness this is good and now all that is left for us to do is to write the text here I'm going to use the standard text that we use you can replace this sample text with your own text reduce this uh, space here and maybe we'll go till this increase the size of the font and keep it in the middle if you if you feel that you can't really read it properly you can have it in bold or you can also add the shadow I leave it to you I'm not going to use the shadow so this is how it is done now I'm going to use I'm going to group this together I have selected everything and I'm going to press Control G to group it let me add a reflection and this is the one that I'm going to use tight reflection touching I'm also going to add shadow and the shadow that I'm going to use is under perspective and this is the shadow I'm going to use called as perspective diagonal upper right and because it is a 3d shape you need to have a floor I'm going to use a rectangle and this rectangle is going to cover till the shadow is seen I'm going to remove the shape outline and let me use a gray color for the rectangle and send it to back and there it is our uh, signboard is ready you can uh, move this particular one to the left sorry no, we will not select this one move this one to the left and you can have your sample text explanation here you can have your slide title you can do whatever you want to embellish the slide with any other design element so that is how you make your signboard diagram in PowerPoint let me show you some variations of signboard in PowerPoint and the templates you're going to see are taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 and uh, let me go to the slideshow view and this is the first one which talks about three connected text boxes and this is the first one this is the second one and there's the third one and observe this beautiful disk that holds the pole and we have used a little bit more advanced variation of uh, the gradient here to give it a steel rod feel let me give you another example template here this one shows four directions and this is especially useful actually this one is useful for uh, useful to talk about four sections and you can use this for your uh, section header and this one talks about learning objectives and here we talk about the five learning objectives in your presentation or in your training program this is quite useful as your opening menu slide so there are many ways in which you can use signboard in PowerPoint if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 the two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked the tutorial on creating signboard in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles, videos to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thank you once again for watching. Happy presenting.